Hi, this is Chris Terrell with Everyday VBA. Today we're going to be looking at uh, formulas and how to figure those out in Visual Basic. There's a quick trick uh, that I learned after banging my head against the wall tons of times, and so we're going to go ahead and just dig in. So I'm going to go ahead and sum these up. Come here and go Alt equals. Alt equals is the quick key for sum. That gives me 390 right there. So I know that that is, if I stretch this out, it's sum, and there's my formula. So let me shrink this down here so we can kind of see the whole formula. Okay. So the question is, is what does that look like in uh, Visual Basic? So easiest way to figure this out is to come and open up your immediate window. Now, the immediate window um, is something that you don't really know that is there until you figure out that it is, and then you kind of figure out how valuable it is. So we're going to go active cell dot formula. I, now, I remember I put the question mark in there. That means that I'm not actually going to do anything. I just want to return a value. So if I click that, it gives me the active cell dot formula. So what are some other things that we can do with this? I'm going to go and copy this down. Active cell dot formula RC. Now this is going to give us a, this is going to give you as RC notation, which is row and column. So I'm going to just show you the difference between the two of these. So this right here actually gives me that reference from B8 uh, to B9. This actually says I'm going to go minus four columns, or minus four rows, excuse me, stay in the same column, and then I'm going to go minus one, one row. And that gives me, uh, that's, that's the identical formula, but it's a little different. So now if we want to do this in code, so let's go ahead and open up a module. We're going to go sub uh, fill formula. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to send this over. So we're actually in range. We're just going to use range as the, we're in range B9. And we're going to go equals. And if you want to enter a formula, it's really simple. All we need to do is we're going to enter this. So we're going to take that right there. We're going to put that right there. I'm going to put an end quote. I'm going to go ahead and delete this out. I'm going to go ahead and come back here in my macro. Hit F5. You'll notice that it puts it in just like a charm. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to just show you the difference if I go minus 2 here. So you can kind of see how this notation works. So we're going to delete this. Um, and I'm going to tell you what it's going to do prior to it actually doing it. It's basically going to add up these columns instead of that last one because it's minus 2. So it's going to start here. It's going to go minus 1, minus 2. I'm going to run this just to show you what it looks like. There we go. we got 210. And Excel's like, hey, wait a sec. It looks like you're missing a number. So the other thing that you can do is come in here. I'm going to delete this. We're just going to go ahead and put this in right here. Try it. We're just going to put that code in right there. And it does just send it to it as a string. And Excel says, hey, this string is a, f is a formula. And it, it converts it. Run that. And you're good to go. Quick little, um, quick little hint. Using the immediate window on formulas, using those two things, it's huge. will save you just absolutely tons of time. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks again for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Everyday VBA YouTube channel. Please join the VBA community at everydayvba.com and most importantly, learn VBA.